Welcome to this edition of Soul of Warren County. Today we're coming from Ramsey Park where we're celebrating the 2023 Juneteenth celebration. You'll hear the sights and sounds of all the revelry that's going on during this very special celebration. We would like to start our program out with Brother Jeffrey Martin in prayer. Let's bow our heads. God in prayer. Our Father in heaven, we come to thee on this beautiful day and thank you thee for this lovely day. Thank you thee for the weather. Father, we thank thee for the young man united that had the foresight to put this Juneteenth event on each year. We pray that you continue to bless them in their efforts as well. Father, we also want to thank thee for all the vendors that are here as well. Continue to be with them. Father, we also pray for those that are sick at this time. We pray to be thy will that you nurse them back to everyone in hell. Father, we also pray for those that have lost loved ones. We pray to be thy will that you put your strong around the families and comfort them in their time of sorrow. But most of all, Father, this day we want to thank you for your dear son who came to this simple world where he suffered, died, and bled upon the cross that we all may have a right to share in life. These and all other blessings we ask in Jesus Christ. Let us all say amen. amen. In our next uh, edition of the program, I would like to in, uh, introduce Young Man United. I'm going to introduce to some and present to others. Uh, we'll start at Donna Chris, President, Ella Richmond, Vice President. Founder Nelson Ramsey, Howard Henney, Grounds, Charlie Boyd, Advertisement, Lisa Strode, Secretary, Miss Henrietta Luss, Scholarships, James Thomas, Grounds, Miss Marcia. Marsha Ramsey, Joseph Stotts, member, Barry Johnson, Grounds, Tag, Martin, member. We're missing uh, Rita Ramsey, she's the treasurer. We're missing Rob Woods, he is uh, Sergeant of Arms. So with that being said, I introduce his son and present to others, Young Man United of McMinnville, Tennessee. Woo -hoo! This group here that we are very proud to present ourselves to McMinnville and Warren County. We are here to bring unity and commitment to our kids, not only to our kids, but to the adults as well. We are here for the community and we feel like that anything that you need, you can always reach out to us, and we are here to support Warren County and surrounding counties if needed. Again, we say thank you for coming to our Juneteenth program uh, today that we've been putting on for 18 years, 18 years now. Young Man United has been in and resisted, would be 25 years in November. History of Juneteenth. Juneteenth is the oldest known celebration commemorating the ending of slavery in the United States. Dating back to 1865, it was on June 19th that the Union soldiers, led by Major General Gordon Granger, landed at Galveston, Texas with news that the war had ended and that the enslaved were now free. Note that this was two and a half years after President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation, which had become official January the 1st, 1863. The Emancipation Proclamation had little impact on the Texans due to the minimal number of Union troops to enforce the new executive order. However, with the surrender of General Lee in April of 1865 and the arrival of General Granger's regiment, the forces were finally strong enough to influence and overcome the resistance. Later attempts to explain this two and a half year delay in the receipt of this important news have yielded several versions 
that have been handed down through the years. Often told is the story of a messenger who was murdered on his way to Texas with the news of freedom. Another is that the news was deliberately withheld by the enslavers to maintain the labor force on the populations. And still another is that federal troops actually waited for slave owners to reap the benefits of one last cotton harvest before going to Texas to enforce the Emancipation Proclamation. All or none of them could be true. For whatever the reasons, the conditions in Texas remained status quo well beyond what st when st slavery was statutory. The Juneteenth flag is a symbol that gives all Americans the opportunity to recognize American freedom and African American history. The Juneteenth flag represents a star of Texas bursting with new freedom throughout the land over a new horizon. The Juneteenth flag represents a new freedom, a new people, and a new star. The Juneteenth flag is created with American red, white, and blue colors. Young Men United, YMU known as Young Men United was established on November the 1st, 1998. This organization was created for the well-being of young adults. The mission to help build character, which is a person's attitude and outlook on life. Young Men United is proud to be a part of the Juneteenth celebration and has been honoring Juneteenth since 2005, not only as an organization, but also as a community. God bless and thank you. Thank you, Joseph, for reading that. Uh, as we come together, as we celebrate the Juneteenth federal re recognition and holiday designation, we look forward to forming a tighter bond, partnership, and greater understanding. All Americans can feel the power of this day and learn from our history. The recognition and the honor of Juneteenth extends beyond our borders. Our teachers, our servicemen have continued to celebrate internationally. We cherish, we cherish their dedication as well as each and every one of you who sees the wisdom, the vision of America, who comes to terms with the truth, the acknowledgement, its mistakes, and commits to liberty and justice for all. We live in a different world today. There is no room nor time for hatred, racism with our own citizens. That's our vision that we come with you at Young Man United and we welcome you to celebrate with us the June the 17th, grow with us in unity, pride, and joy. Again, Young Man, we welcome you to each and everyone that come out to celebrate with us today. As we go forward in this program, we have some county executives that are here today. Terry Bell, Jackie Matheny, Sheriff, I see another one that's our former uh, county executive, Jimmy Haley. Either one y'all want. I just want to congratulate Young Men United on uh, putting this on, taking time, and putting this on for the community. And y'all are doing a great job for our community, and we appreciate it. We really do. Yeah, I'd like to say thank you, too. And uh, Young Men United has come a long way. 25 years, and I believe I've, I've played in the golf tournaments, uh, played basketball. Uh, and it's come a long way, I mean, from what y'all done. Y'all ought to be commended. And I also want to remind everybody, we, are, we do have a cornhole tournament next Saturday, and I'd like to invite everybody to come out and play with us. Thank you. Jimmy? You know, what better place can we be assembling today than the Old Bernard School, which was the heart and soul of the African-American community in Warren County for so many years. And so as Young Men United, and the Black History Museum come together in partnership with other organizations and really leverage all the resources that we got as a community to help raise up our children and set, be a role model and set a standard of performance for our children moving forward. And so Juneteenth has been long coming. It was finally recognized by the state of Tennessee and the General Assembly and this nation 
uh, as a national holiday. Uh, it's unfortunate that slavery is a part of our past and history, but it helps shape who we are as a people. And moving forward, as I always say, uh, when we take our Pledge of Allegiance, we are one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So thank each and every one for participating today and coming out to support a celebration that is long worth celebrating. So thank you, Ella, and thank you all members of the board for the Juneteenth and Young Men United for making this happen today. So, you know, we are a better place and a better community because of all of you. I'm here now with one of my classmates from the greatest class to ever graduate from Warren County Senior High School, the class of 1975. I have with me Ronnie Grayson. Brother Grayson, what does Juneteenth mean to you? Well, Brother Mickey, Juneteenth mean to me is seeing how far that we have come, but at the same time, how much further we have to go. But one thing I love is the camaraderie of this holiday for us, where we can get together, talk, whatever. It's just, it's just a, it's just a great feeling to be here. And Juneteenth is just, like I said, it's a, we got a long way to go, but I'm, I'm thankful for this day. All right, thank you. All right, and I got beside me Phyllis Nallen. And Phyllis, what does Juneteenth mean to you? Juneteenth is a time for people of all cultures to come together. We have more to share than we have um, just in differences. And I, and, I, and I believe that when we all work together, we get to know each other and, uh, you know, just become better people. I'm now with the curator of the Black History Museum of Warren County, Tennessee, Wayne Wolford Sr. And I'm going to ask Wayne the same question. What does Juneteenth mean to you? Thank you, Mickey. Juneteenth means all the freedom in the world as far as people of, I say color, but it's flavors, is the way I see it. And I'm so glad that we had people back in the day that stood on their own two feet and made this go through the legislation and made this possible to be a holiday. And then also, just starting last year, 
of 2022, we actually got this as a legal holiday. Now I'm so thankful for that. Now I'm here with our good friends from the Cookville Putnam County branch of the NAACP. We have with us Gita McMillan and Henrietta Kellum Love. And I'm going to ask them the same question I've been asking everyone out today. What does Juneteenth mean to you? What, what it means to me is the final realization of the number one, the total struggles of our African American friends is that we as a country have finally recognized it ain't over. And that's overall what it means. Now marking this date is incredibly important, but the overall message is that we gotta keep pushing. And it's taken us how many years? 154, I can't add that quick, 150. <laughs> It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been too long, but we have to, that's what we believe. We believe we got to keep pushing. That's what it means. All right, thank you. And Miss Henrietta, what does Juneteenth mean to you? Well, it is a, a celebration about the freedom that we have as black Americans. Uh, I am so glad that our country is recognizing that blacks are included. Uh, the president signing this as a major holiday, that, that gives me great comfort in, in the sense of direction that we as a people can go. I think uh, we as black people need to push harder to do more to be what we need to be so that our country can go forth. And I'm so happy to see the many different, the browns, the blacks, the whites, all here today. And it, it is a glorious day for us to celebrate Juneteenth.
with me today, Catherine Cassani. She's a teacher at Warren County Senior High School. And once again, my question is, what does Juneteenth mean to you? Juneteenth to me is uh, the recognition <clears throat> of the last slave, uh, slaves that were freed. And it's important that we acknowledge this date because it's an important milestone in black history. Have with me David Officer. I'm going to ask him that question I've been asking everyone to come out today. What does Juneteenth mean to you? I mean, really, it's a chance to, to kind of recognize the how far we've come. I mean, Juneteenth was really that time when the last group, I guess, down in Texas, realized, were told that the slaves were free. And you know, at that time, technology was so far behind that it, the word just get, didn't get down. We've come a long way, but it's it's good to be sure to remember how far we have come as a, as a people, as a culture, to really take time and embrace that we weren't always where we are today. And I think it's just a good chance to really reflect on that as a Juneteenth celebration. Now I have with us the president of the board of the Black History Museum of Warren County, Ramona Mathis. And I'm going to ask her, as president of the board of the Black History Museum, does Juneteenth have any special significance for her? Hello. Thank you, Mickey. Juneteenth, yes, yeah, special um, significance is that, you know, it's showing that we are all equal and that we all need to be represented as one, one being and knowing that we are all a beautiful creation with our Lord Jesus, and um, and I'm I'm proud to, to be here and to be representing and supporting and and showing love. Now I'm here with Ramona's husband, Michael Mathis, and I'm asking him that same question: What does Juneteenth mean to you? Juneteenth means to me um, awareness about our country's history, and um, in my life, uh, you know. I come from a different cultural background, being a white man. I was, didn't re realize the significance of it, so it's been an awesome opportunity to uh, learn about history and the significance to the black people uh, of that date.
enjoyed this edition of Soul of Warren County. Please join us next time and remember, make this day and every day a great day.